Hello there! Welcome to another session of Let's Get On With It Caveman to Cosmos Eternal Monarch. Which, by the way, it, the world is too young to judge. Since the last session, I've had considerable feedback. YouTube user Liquidated has taken to writing research papers on C2C in between shots of NyQuil. I open my personal message inbox and it's like, Hello, I am Liquidated, here's everything I observed. We've got folks like Axion advising me on Mountain Takeover, as I uh, made mention about uh, being interested in that marble tile. Several folks want me to build forts. Uh, forts would be how you would do such a thing, such as taking over... Well, uh, apparently forts in this game actually give you like a 3x3 three three cultural block, which you can use to include resources in your territory. And I believe those come with mathematics? Was that a thing that was said? Let's uh, can check, let's check the Civilopedia. It should be a, a terrain improvement. Improvement. Fort. Comes with mathematics. Well, there you go. Axis City for combat purposes can be bombarded, cannot be built... Cannot build another within a distance of two. Provides a zone of control. Provides any tradable resource from the plot on which it was built, which is what I knew. Plus two culture for, for odor and plot. Influences plots within a distance of one. Plus two visibility range, visibility height, air defense, and can be built outside cultural borders. Well, there you go. They can also be taken over. Wikipedia. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, user Tannen Elistor noted the crime buildings uh, overtaking Trento which uh, I missed in my observations for whatever reason. I was wondering uh, exactly at what values that these things would start to punish me. And it seems that is already the case. We have some arson going on here, along with burglary, fighting, forgery, mugging, pickpocketing, and soliciting. Along with anthrax, common cold, dysentery, and scurvy due to my uh, massive disease rate, and these are just things that I never noticed. Like, if they were actually, like, notifications that popped up on my, uh, on my vidlog, they, they just damn escaped my attention. And if they weren't notifications, then that's just an effect of me not knowing what I'm doing. Let's see here. Smiling Owl noted that Shinto could give me access to maintenance reducing buildings. Let's go ahead and select Shinto here. And uh, apparently, their temples give minus 10% maintenance. Uh, the Jingu there, which I guess would be like a, a cathedral or a mosque. Uh, would uh, provide uh, minus 15% maintenance. The Issei Jingu, which would be the unique building, 25% maintenance. And Matsumoto Castle, which is the world wonder there, minus 50% maintenance. Now, is that in just the city that it's built? I think so. Because that's how maintenance usually works. In that instance, at least with the individual buildings. Uh, a few people noted, uh, including Dragon, and this would just me be being dumb. If you just click on this building, uh, not this building, but that there, the triangle that's comprised of three arrows, ta-da! Suddenly, you can see buildings that provide research. Oh my goodness, that's incredible, isn't it? Also have Llama Worker. How you doing, Llama Worker? He starts with Hill Worker too. Yes, he does. Mm hmm. Plus one hundred percent work speed on peaks. Yes. Uh. You know, uh, folks were reminding me that uh, great generals could give you mountain working thing, and uh, you know, to get up there onto the the marble tile to work the marble. And I, I don't think I'm going to spend a great general on a worker to do that if you even can. Let's see here. Oh, and uh, one more thing is that I can sell buildings by going into the screen here and pressing Control A. How about that? So what was the building that I got it got for free that I was interested in possibly selling? A free tablet maker in every city? Was that it? I think so. 
So if I theoretically got it for free now, I might have two instances of it, in which case I could just select the tablet maker. But it doesn't seem as if I can select the tablet maker here anymore. So there you go. Maybe sell something that you might get for free the turn before you build it, if you care. I might not, that might take effort. All right, so what we should focus ourselves on perhaps doing, uh, or at least thinking about doing, is getting our crime rate down here. To that effect, what we might wish to consider doing is building uh, some town watchmen, which would help reduce the amount of uh, crime generated in a particular city. And while we're at it, let's go ahead and sift through various things. As we can see, we have a lot of uh, bad values here in Perugia, but we, uh, we can pause the game. We can also go broke. Now I could replace buildings. An alternative would be, however, to improve my situation by, well, not being so damn broke. To that effect, uh, we have, key, we have people who are just building a variety of exciting buildings. One way to fix the crime situation, though, would be town watchmen everywhere. So, let's go ahead and before we even build the town well there, let's, uh, let's slam out a bunch of town watchmen. Let's get three there. Well, every person can build their own town watchmen, huh? That's a thought. If it doesn't take them too long. Town watchmen. Town watchmen, that'll take ten turns. But, you know, we have so many cities doing so many things. And these places that don't have healers... I'm also going to queue those up there as well. Well, obviously this place can't make a healer right now. So you can make two, three. And this place can get its own town watchman. This will help uh, increase my defenses in places as well. At least places already have town watchmen, of course. But I could make healers for them. So we'll do that. We'll say this city can be responsible for healers. And we'll go ahead and make three more. Nope. Wrong key. There. Fantastic. We'll try to get to work on uh, some of those things that are holding back my empire so bad. They are, they are, they are. Okay. A little bit of management there. Spent uh, about eight minutes just fucking around with things. Let's go ahead and end the turn. I think I was resolving myself not to expand for a little bit. Uh, there's infrastructure that I would like to build one, and, you know, what the hell, right? Hmm, this first, first turn cycle's moving pretty slow there. You can go on sentry. Now, uh, building all these units will, uh, end up costing me some extra gold per turn. So that's something to keep in mind. I, uh, might very well have to reduce the, uh, the research slider there. Hmm. Turn cycling's taking a bit longer than what it has been doing. Hmm. That, that, that's a comforting thought. A very comforting thought, indeed. <laughs> Computer hasn't been on for that long, either. This is a bad sign if uh, this is happening in 16... Let's say it's turn 1686. Okay, we got a town watchman done. And, uh... Plunders 4% of enemy reserves in district espionage. Interesting. We'll go ahead and give him some policing. And, right, I have a city there. I have more cities that I'm not even building uh, town watchmen for. So you already have a healer. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and get out some more town watchmen. We'll say another three. Perhaps even more. We will send you to the capital. You can fortify up there. You can protect yourself there, and that'll help to uh, take care of some of these criminal rates 
that are happening all wholesale within my cities. There we go. That'll get the crime down, which will make the city even better. Fantastic. I've uh, been losing out on quite a bit of gold per turn, uh, if only because I wasn't being very attentive and I didn't know exactly when uh, negative effects from uh, the various properties of a city would kick in. But thanks to my viewers, I have become a little less ignorant. Hooray! Town Watchman's taking some time there to get to Trento. There we go, he has arrived. And... <laughs> might have to get another Town Watchman there. <laughs> There's a lot of crime running rampant in Trento. It being such a massive city and everything. You understand. Okay, go ahead and fortify up there, little town watchman buddy. Another bottle being uncorked in my ears. So, I guess I might go for Shinto. That instead of, uh... Whatever I was going to do after gardening. Which, let's take a look. What was I going to do after gardening? I'm sure I had stuff queued up. I do. Scriptures was next for extra... Extra beakers. And then I was going to go along the naval warfare path. Let's all find something that can produce some money for me, though, like Candlemaker Shop. And some other buildings, I'm sure, which could be of assistance. Crime, false accusations, plus one unhappiness. I don't want to give people crime. No, that'd be terrible. But, uh, let's, let's see what we can do with, um, with getting Shinto. I like the sound of that, although I wanted to finish gardening first. As it's so close to being done. And then we'll grab Shinto. And then I will analyze the situation from there. Maybe get polytheism? Hmm. Maybe I will be a dual religion type of wielder person thing. Free irrigation canals in every city. Plus one happiness all the cities on this continent. Too many buildings to keep track of. Okay. Get some more town watchmen out there. Or are, is are you gonna shine my light? Interesting. I think that's the first time. Well, obviously that's because it wasn't cycling for whatever curious reason. All right, why am I looking at this? Why are you having me look at this? Why? What? But so, oh, you don't want to automate anymore? Okay. Why did you trigger? What? Are there hawks that are going to come in from the mountain peaks and ninja away my people? I, you, you just, you just want me to look at that. Okay. Well, well, thank you, game. I, I appreciate the sentiment and making sure I knew that. You did a good job. Yes. Keep going. Alright. And I'll either have to uh, kill the research or uh, actually uh, have another city produce wealth. Unfortunate, but uh, such is life. We have a town watchman there. You don't have any promotions, because I built you here, unfortunately. Uh, town watch, town watch, town watch. Let's, uh, let's send you all the way down to a place like here. Oh, they already have a town watch there. Let's move you to Perugia, then. They don't have a town watch there. They could use one. Town watch man, rather. Okay, we got gardening. Gardening is online. I will uh, give the computer a restart after this video, I guess. 
Hanging gardens, pavilion, community gardens. Yes. How many more watchmen did I have you queued to build? Just one more. Okay. Uh, go ahead and move to here, because that's a less important city. One more. You go to Perugia. Fortify up there. And now the crime rate will be dropping. Good, 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 good. Also need to get a healer here. Sometime this century. Just a thought. Yay, I'm trying to fix things. Yay. <laughs> <sighs> of course, if I restart the computer and it still gives me sass here with uh, these extra long turn cyclings, well, A, there goes my dream. B, <laughs> it's not the best sign of what's to come. I mean, what? Computer's only been on for 15 and a half hours. Come on. Come on. Colossus has been built in a faraway land. Who built that? Uh, looks like Mongolia. Once again, uh, giving plus one commerce in all, all water tiles. Of a city. Well, of your cities, rather. Okay. Yep, I'll have to curb down the research. Unfortunate, but that's all right. There we go. That'll take down the crime. Woo Yay! And we'll slowly start getting rid of these things. Slowly. Good. We have dropping values. My economy is unsustainable. Yay! Uh, well, it was fun to kill it. Truly it was. It was a blessing, really. It's fun while it lasted. You're done with those, I see. I'll go through all those buildings, then. And... You go through all those buildings. Fortify you there in Perugia. And we've got some crime dropping. Fantastic. Tell you what, you just stop getting that. How far will we have to go here? 70%. That'll be fine. We'll accumulate a small reserve of money. Okay! Wonder complete. Celebrate good times. Come on! <laughs> what do I think of that deal? Uh, sure, we can establish empathies. Shout sound sounds exciting. Then we can open borders to each other. That way you can come in to death. Sounds wonderful. Oh, you can come in and scout me out. Betray Dingrism. I'm not interested in that. I am interested in camels, though. Camels for... Would you like some alcohol? Oh, proposal will not work for you, I see. Barley? What do you want? <laughs> you want me to trade you technologies? I see. Well, uh, looks like, uh, looks like Kublai Khan is, is not going to be the most cooperative individual. That's good to know. Yeah. Doesn't seem like Kublai really wants to trade resources, uh, uh a fair trade by the, seem, by the seemings of things. Alright, we've got ourselves a free technology here that I can go ahead and pick up. I can get Alphabet. Which allows me to build research and espionage, enable sneak, uh, sculpture, uh, reveal sculptures, and obsolete a stone worker's hut. Military training, shamanism, no. Sericulture, no. Salt processing, candle making. And so all these technologies I don't think are ones that I'm going to pick up. Just to remind me what's at the top. Currency. 
enables gold trading. I get plus one commerce from places. Enables coinage, mercenaries, and skill labor. I can build brothels. And full-on wealth. Instead of just little people wealth. I like that. I like that. I'll uh, go ahead and leave Alphabet alone. Let's get currency. Alright. Minus six uh, gold per turn for building maintenance. But I got a free tech. I uh, get some beakers. I uh, get some great general point. Uh, not great, great scientist points. And longer golden ages, although I haven't had one of those yet. Worth what his purchaser will pay for it. Yay, Leonard Nimoy. So we have some new civics to switch to as well. We have, let's see here. Ooh. Hmm. We have mercenaries. We've actually skipped right over conscription. Now. Mercenaries. No upkeep. Units have a 20% chance to avoid capture. New units receive 11 experience points. Um, but military unit production is a bit slower. And plus one gold support cost per military unit. Mmm. No. I don't think that's something I want to switch to. That's like pacifism. We got coinage here. Which uh, in increases maintenance costs for number of cities, but eliminates the maintenance costs from the distance of the palace. There's less inflation, 10% uh, extra commerce in the capital. Can spend gold to finish production of a city, but I lose the extra commerce I'm getting from uh, metals. At the same time, uh, I'd produce more gold in my cities. And skilled labor here... I see. Hmm. Hmm. I generate fewer hammers, but I get more commerce. I also save a little bit of gold per turn. I don't know whether that's worth it? So I'm left with a bunch of civics that I don't know if I'd actually be switching to them. That's what you're telling me. Okay. Well. We'll think about those things. And uh, maybe I'll switch to one of them later on in this session. After a computer restart. Okay. Values are going down. Fantastic. Woohoo! Suddenly, plus 77 gold per turn. I like it. Alright, we've got a healer here. I see no problem in having this healer just stay in this city. Uh, building the healers here is not giving me promotions, though. That's true. Uh, maybe build a building... Which gives me a military advantage. Ah. I was thinking of a building that maybe might uh, provide my units with extra experience. Hmm. No. Let's see, was there something else? I might just build the damn thing somewhere else. Some place that would actually uh, give me straight up Whatever. I stopped caring. I've officially stopped caring. Some healer is better than no healer. We'll just let it go. And suddenly I went broke again. These cities need to make up their fucking minds. I must have had, like, maybe a place that celebrated we love the... Yes, yes, you love me, yes. It all makes sense now. Alright, 70% is no longer tenable. I 
I got my healer done in Trento. That's good. I am the most advanced civilization in the world. I agree. Okay. Crime is actually increasing here, even... Well, slowly. We got ourselves a healer here now. Hooray! Town Watt's been moved there. Now crime can uh, be kicked back down. Woo! Counterfeiting. Yikes. That might have uh, been the extra cost that came in as a result of uh, me picking up currency. Well, you know, that crime being active now. So now I really need to curb the crime. Because, uh, that is definitely hurting me, counterfeiting. Damn it. Alright. Okay, got another healer done here. And as mentioned, I'm gonna start moving them. Cycling them into other cities. Kublai Khan has a ton of gold for trade. Good job, Kublai Khan. And normally I would like to grab... You know? That is a thought. No, I didn't want to try to talk to you. Normally I like to make tons of trading for gold. So... We'll pick a cheap tech. A tech that I don't much care for. And we'll take a... We'll, we'll, we'll give this a test drive, how about? How about we give feline domestication a drive? You'll give me 383 gold for it. What if I give you falconry as well? You would give me 1170 gold for it. Okay. <laughs> now, what make this deal work? <laughs> Refuses to give... Now, I guess camels could be seen as, like, a strategic resource. I guess ivory would be, too. What about gold ingots? Because you could, like, ride on people? Well, here we go. Yeah, that's my problem. That's probably my problem. I'm picking, uh, strategic resources. Uh, oh, well. I don't exactly care about having the reeds that bad. I will take that money, though. I think I will. I think I like money. That cost me 117 gold per turn, so taking this lump sum would allow me to basically run the slider at 100% for 10 turns. And I'm giving up two techs that, well, allows them to get trained cats. I think it'll be fine. We'll do some wheeling and dealing, folks. After all, I'm, I'm big people now. I can wheel and deal all I want. You, you're not the boss of me. Oops. Hey. Hey. God damn it. Let me talk to the Arminians. Arminians are broke. That's nice. Okay. Let the research flow. Not as fast as it used to before I got writing. Ah, no regrets, right? Not a single regret. No, no, never. If I click on this, no, that wouldn't tell me anything. I'd have to cycle through all the cities, wouldn't I? Check to see whether your values are going down in various things. They are here. They are there. And there, as well as there. Disease rates going up here, even with a healer? Oof. All right. Guess it's not promoted. That's a thing. Crime rate could stand to go down a bit more. I'll tell you what. You just finish that healer. And... We'll build... A healer, town watchman. There. That's fine. Cool. 
All right, Shinto's coming up in the next turn. We'll need another Great Prophet to, uh, to build the special building associated with it. Wonder where uh, Shinto will be founded. Guess we'll find out. Survey says... Survey says... Survey says... <laughs> Survey says Kublai Khan is trying to shaft me. No. Verona? Okay. Banzai. So it seems as if this was a forward religion that was founded, by the looks of things. I can keep you here, and that would reduce the disease rate even more to favorable levels. Okay, Kanushi. Let's uh, send you back to the capital, because I want people in the capital to learn about, uh, about this religion. I would have rather preferred my state religion spreading to all of my cities first, but that didn't quite happen on account of the crazy expansion I was doing. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and call this a video here. I'm going to restart my computer. And, um, I'll see you all in a little bit. Yay. Bit.